to Red Wolf TV. I'm your host Taz. Today we're in the warehouse where I'm picking up a gun that has been available in the US and in Europe for quite some time but has only just arrived in Hong Kong. And it is not this one. It is in fact the ASW338LM bolt action sniper rifle. So Tim from Operations has been anticipating the arrival of this gun for a long time. He's really excited. So Tim are you ready? Yeah. You got the gun? Yes. The right gun? Yeah. Let's go. have the 107 centimeter or 42 inch and 5 kilogram almost 11 pound 338 in front of us. Tim is going to tell us about the materials. Well as you can see the tan section, all the tan section including the flash hider and monopod and extruding the pistol grip is made out of aluminium. The pistol grip and the framework of a buttstock is made out of high quality polymer and the butt end is made out of rubber. And the coolest part is that the handrail is made out of carbon fiber, which is exactly what the real steel version has. Exactly like. So the one thing that's got Tim really excited about this gun is actually the origins and how this version came about, right? Yes. ASG got the licensing rights from APO, who are the original manufacturers of the real steel version. And together they went to VFC in Taiwan to create or manufacture the airsoft version. But what's interesting is that they, they use the CAD exterior drawings from APOs to make this a one-to-one -one scale replica of the real steel version. Using the Mod 1 chassis. Yes. And something that makes it a little more realistic is actually the Ashbury logo. So one really cool thing about this gun is its ergonomic design and adjustability, especially when it comes to the stock. So first of all, with the pistol grip, there is a screw inside which, when loosened, allows you to move the grip further back depending on how big your hand is. You know. And with the rest of the butt stock, say the cheek rest, with the additional equipment such as the Allen key, the large one, if you use it on the left side, on the middle screw, if you loosen it, allows you to raise the cheek rest. With the monopod, if you turn it clockwise, it uh, raises itself and anti-clockwise it goes back down. And there are two buttons on the right side. The left one allows you to raise and lower the butt end, the rubber padding. And the right side allows you to bring the stock further back. So you can mold this gun according to your own preferences and your own comfort instead of you having to mold yourself around it. Well first of all I'd like to mention that the magazine is actually plastic on the inside with a metal casing. And on the side here you can see where the BBs are meant to go. You're, you could use a BB loader to fit 40 BBs in there which is not bad. And on the top there is a slit. Now if you turn the gun around and you pull the bolt back you'll be able to see a fin where the mag hatch is and that fin fits over the slit of the magazine and if you push the bolt back it slides the BB through a tracking system into the chamber which sits two inches, two or three inches in front of where the magazine is. Okay so now that we've taken a look at its loading system let's see how it shoots. We're testing the FPS using 0.2 gram BB. So at 25 meters we're going to check out the range, we're using 0.36 gram BBs and remember the gun doesn't come with the silencer, bipod and scope itself so you have to buy those separately. Are you ready Tim? Yeah. Shoot! Damn it, that is uh, 8 o'clock like 2 inches or something. Oh, bullseye. I'm sure you guys will agree that the grouping is definitely not something to be ashamed of. It's pretty good, especially at 25 meters. What do you think, Tim? I could do better. 
Really? Yeah. So the FPS is sitting at around 395. Um, and combining that with the range and accuracy, I think we onto something pretty good. But let's talk a little bit about the internals and is it upgradable? Can you change up some features? Yes, you can. Um, it is VSR10 compatible, so you can change the barrel, the spring, the trigger and the hop-up. The trigger grip is actually also Tokyo Marie VSR compatible. And looking at the loading system, it's really similar to the Tokyo Marie L96. To adjust the hop up, you'll need to remove the scope. With this Allen key, which is included in the equipment, if you put it in there, turn it clockwise for more hop up and anti clockwise for less. So, obviously, adjusting the hop up and making the other changes and upgrades will improve the accuracy. So, Tim, you've been anticipating this gun for so long now. What do you think? I really like it. Apart from uh, two things. First of all, the cocking handle is unexpectedly ugly like a sweaty man's armpit. And it's got a Good wobbly... Image. Yeah, brilliant image. And it's got a wobbly magazine. But it does not actually affect the feeding of the BB. So you can push it either way and it doesn't really change. Okay, so here's the thing. For our US and European viewers, you are not able to purchase this gun from Red Wolf Airsoft. But it is available to all of our viewers in Asia. So if you want to purchase this product or other cool products, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com.